For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. Now Paul here, Romans 2, verse 24, is directly making the tie-in about the Hebraic Jews who were saying you got to keep the commandments and stuff like that, wanting to bring saints under the um, under circumcision, that you got to keep the commandments like so many people, so many of these grotesque Christians do. And see, when you go contrary to Scripture, not rightly divided, God's ashamed of you, one. But see, the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles. Now, when Paul in Romans 2, verse 24 says Gentiles there, he is directly making reference onto those who are not of the Hebraic Jewish line. Okay? I'm Japheth. I'm a Gentile. If you're, uh, if you're a Hamite, you're a Gentile. If you're of Shem, say you're Japanese, say you're Chinese, Korean, from Thailand, Mongolia, whatever, okay? You are of Shem, but you are not Hebrew even though the Hebraic people are taken out of Shem. Okay? All right? That's how that works. But also, you can intuit in verse 24, the whole context from verse 17 on to 24, which we covered on Friday. Okay, Friday's video. All right? <laughs> Friday's video. I can't remember what the name of it was. Okay? But those who are without, without the body of Christ, they see this grotesque, vomitous blah called Christianity. And it's 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 no wonder that nobody is interested in the God who is. There are some who are. You know, you get on that sinking submarine, and the process of being broken of your self righteousness, which Christianity is all about, bolstering your self righteousness. With a false humility. I saw some things yesterday. And you know what? I'm not a Christian. I'm a saint. If you're saved, you're a saint. And you know, people, the further we go, the closer we come to the redemption of the purchased possession the more separation there ought to be between saints and this filth which is called Christianity. Second this is a little impromptu, but I... I can't stay silent. I don't care anymore. I care about the lost. I care about the brethren. I care about those poor people who are deceived by these disgusting Christians. If you're a saint and you want to call yourself a Christian, that, that is your problem. I don't know why you want to do that. If you are a saint, if you are my brother, if you are my sister, and you're going to persist in that. I'm not going to disassociate myself from you because you are my brother. But, you know, you know where I stand. And what we're going to be talking about today, the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. The name of God is blasphemed among the lost because of Christianity and the Christians themselves. In 2 Corinthians 10, 
10 on to 12. Christianity is fleshly. Christianity is carnal. The three appearances of Christian, two are said by lost pagans. Peter mentions it, but the context and where it is mentioned shows you that the term Christian is not in a positive light. Okay? But the way Peter uses it as a saint, if you're going to die for something that they affix as Christian, glorify God in that behalf. That does not give credence that you and I as saints take that title upon us that the Lord never gave us. And I understand that it's not going anywhere. I understand. But see, Christianity is carnal. It's fleshly. And you know what they do? For his letters say they are weighty and powerful, but his bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible. So he talked, but physically he wasn't much to look at. But see, Paul walked his talk. And again, I, th I say to you, I wonder, I wonder what some of these people are actually like when they don't have an audience. I wonder. I don't care to know. But I wonder. Let such an one think this, that such as we are in word, by letters when we are absent, such will we be, all, such will we be also indeed when we are present. Word and deed. Now this is not faith and works salvation. This is not. Again, the way you serve your God reflects him. The way we saints serve the Father, reflect Him. And on Friday, that was addressed. Okay? Unlike these disgusting Christians, like the one from England, and the one from Maine, I saw some things last night that just made me so ill. Now see, also let's, let's continue. For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. Commend themselves. But they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. Peter Ruckman once said, but if you're going to do it, choose you a big one. Excuse me. I don't care anymore. Time is running out. And um, if any of these is to be the last, I'm going to make as, I, Lord willing, Lord willing, we're going to make as many of you Christians as uncomfortable as possible. Comparing themselves among themselves. Hmm. The measure of the standard of rule for Christianity is Christianity itself. Don't compare yourself to me. God forbid. Okay? Don't. Paul, in his example of Scripture, gave us the example of how to follow the Lord today in this dispensation. To the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Okay? But the actual way of follow, you know, following him per se, like some of these Christians do, with these people that they puff up. And then because they get puffed up, it goes straight to their head, see.
Mark 2. Mark 2. We're going to address, I'm going to be addressing two people, but you know what? Comparing themselves among themselves. These people want recognition. Okay? They want to be named of others. They want recognition among men. They want to be recognized for whatever their, whatever their self-purpose is. They want to be recognized. And I'm not going to give it to them. No way in chadez am I going to give it to them. And it's funny, because I've got to rem I'll remind you, when the whole psychological operation known as the Poison Crown was going on a few years ago, I, when I would speak about it, I purposely spake in ambiguity. I did that purposely. And a lot of these uh, Christians, it's like, oh, Brad, you, you won't say anything about it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I didn't say it directly because what was happening? People, when they were outright saying it, they were being taken, uh, things were taken down, and no uh, moments for, the, for people to hear truth was being given. But interestingly enough, even though, and several people, uh, the sweetheart up there all once said, it's like, Brad, we know who you're talking about. Name them. No. See, people, you got to understand about these Christian celebrity preachers and YouTube pastors and stuff like that. You have, and, and the, the whole thing about a pastor. <laughs> See, glorifying self in a title, it, it, it's revolting. But see, the recognition. The one disgusting individual from Maine even said once, you know, name me. I know you're talking about me. Name me. Do you hear that? Did, and hey, 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 hey. Those of you his disciples, you know he said stuff like that. Name me. Why? Why? Oh, so that the gospel will get out more. That's what they say. That's what they said at the first. But nowadays. Why? Why? I did not send these prophets yet. They ran. Name me. Name me. Go on, Brad. We all know who you're... No. See, that's... People, that's what they want. That's the psychology of it. They want the recognition. They want you to name them. They want you to name them as the source of what you are speaking against. They want that. And the more you do it with the martyrdom complex that these guys have, the more they get puffed up, puffed up, puffed up, puffed up, puffed up. Mark 2, verses 21 and 22. Mark 2. 21 and 22. No man also soweth a piece of new cloth on an old garment, else the new piece that filleth it up take away from the old, and the rent is made worse. The old is worn, wear, worn out. Have you ever put patches on your pants? How about on your socks? And they're old, and you try to sew it up? You know, my wife does that for some of my sweatpants because I'm cheap and I don't got the money to get new ones. And sew them up, put new stuff on there because it's new and the, the material is old. That new one thing will take away from the old, making it worse. Practical. No man also soweth a piece of new cloth on an old garment. Else the new piece that filleth it up taketh away from the old and the rent is made worse. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles. Else the new wine 
doth burst the bottles, and the wine is spilled, and the bottles be marred, but new wine must be put into new bottles. A new creature. Now, the Pentecostals come and just askew this all to whatever. But, the point is, ye must be born again. A new creature. A new creature. And because the Lord makes you a new creature with him sealing you with himself, old things ought to pass away. Okay? But see, yesterday, the, 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 the disgusting guy from England did a live stream. Now this guy, he will attack people. He points the fingers and neglects to even, you know, that there are three pointing back at him. Okay? But there's uh, two individuals that I saw. I didn't watch the whole thing. I won't give that man that much of my time. But there's one guy in particular who he has just eviscerated, made little coffee cups, and gives him a three-letter nickname and says, I hate you, I despise you. And dear brother, I do still think that despise is worse than hatred. We can speak about that later, okay? And that's not, and this is not the time for that. We can talk about that later. But um, it's like, I don't hate you, I despise you. I don't hate you, I despise you. And these people, and see, that warped devil will tell people after he unloads filth on them, profan uses profanity himself, lies, but says, I love you. <clears throat> and see, that's one type of Christian. And see, the ones, the very ones that that man will attack on his channel the, the, the one uh, Englishman and another, that potty mouth guy, okay, they're both moderators on his channel. You know, they got the little blue wrench on there, okay? Yet, that man has attacked both these individuals. The one guy with the potty mouth guy, okay. But yet, the other guy who keeps going back. Okay, pal, that, that you, fine. Love you, I love you, but there, there, there's something wrong here. You, you keep going back to that. W what's wrong with you? I love you, but you, you, you go ahead, okay? You go ahead. Go, go right ahead. Go, go right ahead. No man also soweth a piece of new cloth on an old garment. What are you doing? But hey! See, trying to reason this to you, beloved, is it working? Fine. But see, this man, with two specific individuals who he has relentlessly attacked, but yet will allow them into his life stream and be cordial and yet have fellowship with them. Because he loves them. Ezekiel 16. You know what that is? See, that, that is, that's grotesque. Okay? Alright? Someone's lost. Someone's using profanity like the one guy is. Um, and I'm not naming names, see. But see, the, the parties that will watch this... They'll know who I'm... You know I'm talking about you. See, you know I'm talking about you. But see, I'm not going to give you what you want. I'm not going to give you your name. I'm not going to give you your name. See, you're watching. Name me. Name me. Why? So attention will be put onto you. See, that's the pettiness of these Christians. Ezekiel 16, 22 under 34. 22 under 34. And in all thine abominations and thy whoredoms, thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth, when thou wast at, uh, naked and bare and wast polluted in thy blood. 
These are, they call themselves Christians, Christian brothers. Yet they attack each other relentlessly. And one guy has a, such a foul mouth, okay, and doesn't care. All right. The other one also uses profanity, but he covers his steps, of course. And the other guy just keeps going back and grabbing the handle and getting burnt. I have no pity for you. Okay? There's something wrong there. But they're Christians. These are saved people returning to their vomit. And it came to pass, after all thy wickedness, woe, woe unto thee, saith the Lord that thou hast also built unto thee an eminent place, and hast made thee an high place in every street. Look at how pious I am. I'm a Christian. I'm an English Christian. The, the preferred stock of stock of Christianity. And for you, my English brethren and sisters, I mean no offense to you. Okay? The one I am addressing, he holds himself in high regard because he's an Englishman. He does. He, he tries really hard to put on the facade that he's this humble old fart. But, and he lied about his age, too, by the way. Um, he puts that up there to give this false humility. But you scratch him a little bit, it'll come right out. Okay? But they made themselves an eminent place and high, uh, an eminent place and has made thee an high place in every street. A high place in every street. Go around brutally attacking people, but yet, like a whore, allow them to come into you and you have cordial fellowship with the same ones you are attacking. And they're cordial. It's a joke. You know why that is? Because they're of the same spirit. They're Christians, they ain't saints. And look at how pious I am. I will belittle you, berate you. I don't hate you. I despise you. Shut up. You'd be more of a man if you at least came out and say, I hate them. Okay? I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Yes, I do. You know why? Because you're Christ's enemy. I hate you with perfect hatred. You lying devil? Yes, I do. There are two people on earth I hate. Me and you. But see, but see, you'll take that now. It's like, look at how pious I am. I love you. You, you disgust me. <laughs> love. You have no idea what love is. <laughs> you don't. But see, that's what they do. These, this specific blend of Christianity that's a weird mixture of free grace and, and some other blah, some of them pretending to be uh, King James Bible-eating Christians with the mixture of free, it's just, a, it's, a, it's a noxious stew of filth. But they, 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 they do. They go back and forth attacking one another, but then they go to each other's live streams and have cordial fellowship with each other. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a joke. It's a joke. And see, lost people see this. And they're like, come on. You and see, that's their, that's their point. That's the point. You got these idiotic, free grace, King James, Bible-believing Christians putting out this thing that makes even the even lost people like what 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 how, how, wait a minute okay you, you're claiming to be a christian yet you're dropping f-bombs all the time you're claiming to be a christian and all you do is attack people left and right but yeah and then you all get together and you're all buddies <laughs> that's the point that's the point of it. To make look, to the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, through them. And they build themselves up and it's like, look at me. 
I, I just attacked you. I attacked your wife. I attacked your family and blah, blah, blah. And yes, you have. I got the evidence to prove it. Um, and they do all these things and use profanity and insult each other left and right. But they love you. <laughs> it's like Carlin said, you know? <laughs> it's like Carlin said. You know, the, the guy's going to send you to hell and fire and burn forever and ever. But he loves you. <laughs> and it's a whorish mentality of it. You know, at least with some of the King James Bible believing Christians from that guy from Maine that follow him, when they cut people off, they cut people off. At least they do that. You guys don't. This other blend of Christianity. I, I just call it filth. You guys, you, you, you point the finger and attack each other in brutal ways. And then at the end of the day, you all buddies. Because God loves everybody. Thou hast built thy high place at every head of the way. And hast made thy beauty to be abhorred. And hast opened thy feet to everyone that passed by and multiplied thy whoredoms. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see this with these live streaming guys. You know, they, they're Christians, but yet they have fellowship with Catholics. They have fellowship with Calvinists. Okay? Online. And they have these court. Well, we're supposed to witness to. You're taking them on to you, bringing them into fellowship with you in a public platform. Okay? It's one thing to have a discussion. It's another thing to bring them on to you and treat them as if they're your brethren. Guess what? Guess what? If you're a Catholic, you're not my brother or sister. If you're a Calvinist, you're not my brother or sister. If you're a Pentecostal, you're not my brother or sister. Okay? You're not. Okay? You are not. And you know what? I'm not yours. Okay? But hoard them. Hoard them. You belittle, you belittle, belittle these people and you made merchandise out of one poor guy who willfully is going back to you time and time again after he's been warned up the... And yet he still goes back. <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? Seriously, what is wrong with you? Don't just stay away. I love you. I love you. Just go. Go go associate yourself with that filth. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. It's disgusting. But it's whoredom. Whoredom. Taking, you know, everyone both ways. That's what these, you know, like pray said he isn't. And, and the guy from England I'm talking about, he does the same thing. Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Thou hast also committed fornication with the Egyptians, those of the world. Thy neighbor is greater flesh, and has increased thy whoredoms to provoke me to anger. Behold, therefore, I have stretched out my hand over thee, and have diminished thine ordinary food, and delivered thee unto the will of them that hate thee, the daughters of the Philistines, which are ashamed of thy lewd ways. Philistines! Link them back onto the sons of Ishmael, the modern-day uh, Muslims. And that's another thing, which you, you know, Baseball bats and Muslims. Mm. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Islam will look at this filth called Christianity. It's like, <laughs> no, and, and you can't blame them. The Hebraic Jews, especially. Hey, hey, hey you, you King James Bible believing Christians, do you really think that the Hebraic Jews are jealous? Because of you guys?
you, you, you King James Bible believing Christians, you're proud of your denomination. You are. I've seen it. I've experienced it. They, they always watch us. They try to emulate. Shut your mouth, you little punk. I hope I never see you face to face because I would be tempted to smack the yellow off your teeth. And I can't do that. Okay? And again, I'm talking about someone who is an enemy of the Lord. Let's continue. Thou hast played the whore also with the Assyrians. Successful enemy. Because thou wast unsatiable. Yea, thou hast played the harlot with them, and yet couldst not be satisfied. Hey, you Christian guys, when is it enough? When can you be satisfied? See, these guys aren't satisfied, uh, especially the one that we're addressing right now, that jerk from England, you know, and the whoredom, that, that, that whole disgusting blend of free grace, King James, Bible, and Christianity, and all the other mod podge, melting pot that... That whole vomitous, toxic stew is, okay? When is it enough? They're always searching for someone to attack, for someone to point out, someone to find that they can point the finger at. That's all they do. You know? That's all they do. Never satisfied. Can't be satisfied f f with blood. The taste of blood tears his soul apart, not the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood that stems from the wounds that they inflict on others. And these are Christians. And you wonder why, Christian, you're out there and you talk to these people. You know, lost people who you, you're supposed to uh, lead on to the Lord. The Lord, you know, using you to lead them on to him. But no, hey, go to a church building. When is it enough? When is it enough? See, it's never enough. Thou hast moreover multiplied the fornication in the land of Canaan unto Chaldea, and yet thou wast not satisfied herewith. How weak is thine heart? God knows my heart. How weak is thine heart, said the Lord God. See now doest all these things, the work of an, of an imperious, whorish woman, just like your mother. Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Harlots. Rome, okay, abandon Christianity, okay? <laughs> abandon it. You know, that one video of all these Christian denominations going and kissing rat singer, okay? That is exactly what this one specific blend of Christianity that is tied in with these live streaming free grace disgusting uh, non-denominational denomination filth it's a it's a mirror image of Rome and of course you know free grace theology antinomianism is a bridge to bring in everyone together under the headship of that man of sin some perdition eventually after we the body of Christ have taken on away. Yeah. In that thou buildest thine eminent place in the head of every way, and makest and makest thine high place in every street, and has not been as an harlot, in that thou scornest higher, freely giving it, freely doing it without any, you know, some of them, you know. You know, it's like, hey, help me with books, okay? <laughs> okay, <laughs> help me with books. And 
I'm not even going to go on that. I don't need to get that mad. Okay? But they scorn us higher. At least the harlot has a principle of doing it for money. What are you doing it for? Just entertainment because your mother tells you to. But as a wife that committeth adultery, which taketh strangers instead of her husband, they give gifts to all whores, but thou givest thy gifts to all thy lovers, and hirest them, that they may come unto thee on every side for thy whoredom. That verse, verse 33, is an excellent description of this I don't even know what you call it. This specific blend of Christianity that's a mix of free grace, that's a, a mix of a King James Bible even Christianity, mix of whatever. It's, it's just a, it's a filthy melting pot of garbage. Okay? It is. And then you got these guys who just brutally attack each other, but at the end, it, see, it's a performance. It's a, it's a, it's theater. They're actors, okay. And it's like when they attack each other. It's like, come on, a couple, a month, maybe two. You guys are gonna be all buddy, buddy. God loves you, okay. It's like, come on. Like I said, at least some of these King James Bible believing Christians, at least when they separate, they at least separate. They at least separate these guys these guys man they're whores they are whores you're whores it's like your mother Roman Catholicism oh take offense and a gate I don't care anymore man just, just, just you know what <laughs> You got the ones guys here, you know, grouping back together, having this disgusting love fest, and the one foul mouth guy who called the one guy who keeps grabbing the pan, he called him a piece of dung publicly, publicly, and used the superlative and called him that and insulted him, but yet they have fellowship together. On the one guy's channel. Dude, there's something wrong with your head. There is something wrong with your head. Okay? I love you. You got a problem up here. I, I, you know, you've been talked to about this. You've been warned. But yet, you keep going back. Have fun. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Yeah, those, those, yeah, them are your brothers, right? Yeah, the one that called you a piece of dung, the other one that made merchandise of you, putting uh, things on cups and selling them, but yet they love you and care about you? They get me. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, man? What is wrong with you? <laughs> And the contrary is in thee from other women, in that in thy whoredoms, whereas none followeth thee to commit whoredoms. And in that thou givest a reward, and no reward is given unto thee. Therefore thou art contrary. See, they, they freely give lies and this deceit and attack people. But yet at the end of the day they regroup and they love each other. It's disgusting. And we wonder why, brethren, there is such a, and rightfully so, that's Christianity for you. And see, again, which ought to be obvious to anyone with half, half, half a sensible mind. 2 Corinthians 6, okay? You got guys doing contrary to Scripture. All they do is attack, belittle people, okay? But yet, you're, you're, look at me how pious I am. We're, we're Christians, 
Or, you know, oh, you know what? While we're at it, you know what you guys are doing? That this the specific blend of Christianity that I, I'm talking about? Um, 1 Corinthians 5. <laughs> 1 and 2, okay? It is reported commonly that there is fornication among you. And such fornication as is not so much as named among the Gentiles, that one should have his father's wife. We're Christians. Look at us. Look at how bad. We're not, we're not going to hold that again. Yeah, you just made merchandise of me and called me a piece of dunk publicly and uh, attacked me brutally. But yet, I, I'm a Christian. I'm going to take the high ground and have fellowship with these people. And you're not, and you're puffed up. Look at how pious I am. I don't hate you. I despise you. And all the while you attack people, and then you, like a whore, you let them all in. It's like, oh, I love you. Yeah, yeah. With friends like you, who needs enemies, right? And you're puffed up, and have not rather mourned. That he that hath done the, this deed might be taken away from among you. Now you don't harbor a grudge. No, but it's like, good, okay? Like I said, the one other blend of Christianity, the denomination of King James Bible believing Christianity, when they cut you off because you don't like what their Messiah does, you know, the man-made one, uh, when they cut you off, they, they at least, they at least stick to their guns with that. <laughs> they at least do that, okay? You know, yeah. If you're a heretic uh, with doctrines of devils, warning people against the Roman Catholic holiday of the 25th, okay? They call you the heretic, but no, 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 no. Look in the mirror, Jack. First, okay? When they cut you off, they cut you off. They at least do that. But this other plan, man. 2 Corinthians 6, 14 on the 18. It's like, you know, forgive and forget. I'm not going back to you. i am got not, nothing to do with you. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? See, the fact that these guys, and I listened. I did. I listened to your live stream just a little bit, the, the, the rear end. And I knew, of course, you, I, saw the, I saw them in the comment section. It's like, and they're all moderators. You know, I was like, dude, you, you're so grotesque. But see, they get along. They're all buddy-buddy. How could a saint get along so freely? With They are convincing, they are conniving, they are very good at what they do at deceiving, but yet, you're, you're a saint? You're sealed until the day of redemption? And the Lord in you is not screaming at you uh, when you are having fellowship with devils? If some one of them... Man, there's something wrong there. And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? You're a saint? What what why why are you having fellowship with these people? Why? And I, I, I'm not talking about the one guy. I, I, you know, I'm not. It's just in a general sense with these, these, this blend of Christianity that is whorish and their legs are open to everybody. And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God, and as God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And again, you know, when someone's cursing prolifically, accident ha accidents happen. But when you, like that one disgusting guy, um, and I'm not going to name his name, who just willfully 
you know, willfully and without even a reservation. Um, that's not a saved man. It's not a saved man. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. See, dude, you keep going back. You're touching the unclean thing. It's right there. <sighs> Bye. And I will be a father unto you. And ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Now, shift. I don't know who it was, but um, I saw. I saw. A video last night. I actually watched all three minutes, I think, three minutes and 48 seconds of it. And I was just appalled. The thumbnail for this specific video has King James on what would be your right side if you're looking at it. Has this individual with this kind of look on his face and just by chance there is the crooked crown right above his head. And then there's some other dude in the middle there. I, I, there are those of you who know exactly what I'm talking about. That thumbnail alone, the one guy which would be on your left if you're looking at it like this, he's got that kind of, you know, pompous look on his face. And there's the crooked crown right behind his head. And it's like, I've told people, don't send me this guy's stuff. I don't care. I don't want to watch. I don't want to hear. But I, I saw that. It's like, really? And I was, I was like, oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> wow. Hey, hey, sweetie pie, I'm surprised you haven't picked up on this one yet. Somebody's got to say something. And hey, they all think I'm a heretic anyway because I'm against uh, uh, yoking up with the uh, Vatican Rome on December 25th. Yeah, so you go, <laughs> you go ahead and have a good time, you King James Bible believing Christian. You're just, you're just another part of the whore. You are. You, you are another denomination within the fragmentation of this disgust called Christianity. Bravo, bravo. Luke 18, 10 on to verse 14. I could die at any moment. I could have a heart attack or a stroke. And you know what? As my health deteriorates and people like to make little of it, and that's, that's fine. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care. At the end... We need, you know, he must increase, I must decrease. And I have seen in these examples of public Christianity of how not to be in the latter years of your walk with the Lord. I don't ever, ever want to resemble anything of that man. I'm not talking about the guy from England. That, that's, we're done with that one. I'm talking about the other one. I want nothing to do with that. Nothing. And you know, it's like the sweetie pie, because he knows he, it irritates me. He likes to call me by that man's name. And I fire back because I'm, I'm your huckleberry. You want to fight like that? Let's go. I'll call him a richlingite. Okay? Which irritates him. Okay? All right? But see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Unfortunately, me, myself, and, and forgive me for speaking a little foolishly, myself and that specific individual, unfortunately, do share a lot of the same things. We do. But even the people who hate me know that we're nothing alike. 
nothing. Praise the Lord for that. Because yes, I have seen two men, Luke 18, 10 on verse 14. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. Pharisee! What is a Pharisee? Pharisee basically is an individual who places tradition above scripture. Deck the halls, pal. A pagan tradition. But all things are lawful for you. They hide behind that and justify that which is, comes from Rome. And interestingly about that, a couple years ago, said individual started the whole thing, brought it up, and started naming names. And see, the, these specific King James Bible leading Christians, they wear it as a badge of merit and of bravery that they name people's names. There is a time and a place for that. I've done that myself. We like open air preacher. I don't know his name. Mark the man. Yes, yes. But see, they do it, and they do it as a badge. Look at how brave I am. Ah. Yeah. See, it's about exhortation of self that they do it. How brave I am. But see, this said individual came out with that whole thing, justifying the worship of December twenty fifth. And called anyone who did contrary because a Ruckmanite straightened them out on it years and years and years ago. He came out with this thing and caused this gigantic division. But like uh, Lenin said, uh, call the enemy what you are and always speak the opposite of the truth. And he's like, well, where'd you get your information from? He's like, oh, shut up, you pompous jerk. And he created a divide he did it and then and you got to give the good you got to give the guy credit for this just immediately after that by the way I wrote a book oh oh then now see now see you got okay that dude that was a good shrewd business move yes it was See, you, you lather over the clients. You make them feel good. It's okay. All things are lawful for you, and that is the truth. But you hide behind that to justify something that comes from Rome. I would shut up if any of these guys would at least have the stones to say, yes, it's pagan. Yes, it came from man. I'm doing it anyway. I'd shut up. I would. I would. I wouldn't say another thing about it. <laughs> There's enough out there. I wouldn't say another thing about it. See, that'll never happen. You know why? Because they're all puffed up. They're proud. They're full pride. They're King James Bible Christians. They have created their own little denomination within Christianity. And they're proud of it. And after this whole thing started because of him, lather up the customer. A good, shrewd business move by my book. And of course, it sounds like hot cakes. And hey, more power to you there, pal. More power to you. You go. But see, a very shrewd business move. Cause this thing, get people on your side, tell them what they want to hear, and then, oh, here, by the way, can you buy my book? And of course, it sold like hot cakes. <laughs> Pharisee stood and prayed thus unto himself, thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. Oh, and incidentally, um, any of you, because one of the things that these guys will throw back at me, said that Jesus, the flesh of Jesus Christ was sinful. I don't say that. The scriptures say that. And we've proved that in several videos. Um, 
the Judge Not video. Uh, we really get into that, which will be the first one on the list for you to consider when they backpedal. It's like, they say, he said the flesh of Jesus Christ was sinful. It was. But see, Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. God within flesh never sinned. And, and remember, little jerk, because the Lord kept the law perfectly, that sinful flesh was sanctified by God keeping the law perfectly in flesh. See, that's how that works. Okay? That's how that works. But that's something that they fall back on. And I'm ready for it. Okay? I'm just like, come on. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead, you petty, little, feeble-minded twit. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. You don't scare me. Pharisee stood and prayed with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. I feel like Paul because of all the people I've led to the Lord through my ministry. <laughs> all the thousands that have been saved by my ministry. Paul said my... Yes, he did. But you know what he likened that onto? Being foolish. Kind of neglect that part. And especially when you like to rest on your merits of what was yesterday. <laughs> and just go on. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me. Look at what I've done. Huh? And the publican standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote all upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for every one that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. This is the same man who tells you, it's like, well, my family helped build this country. I'm not denying the legitimacy of that, but okay, think, people. Why tell that to people? Why? Why? You know, in passing conversation, make a reference, I'm like, yeah, okay, you know, my, my, my heritage links back to the founding fathers who are Freemasons. Freemason, huh? Oh, no. No, wouldn't be a Freemason. No. Not a Jesuit. Not a Jesuit, no. Freemason? No, I wonder. I wonder. There's no proof of that. I'm, you know, I've been wrong before. Okay? But yeah, my, yeah, my, my ancestors, you know, we help make this country. Why, why, tell, why tell people that? Why? See, I have a vested interest in this. See, this is more reason why for you to trust me, because look at what my family has done. And then with the video I saw last night, So, a relative, long whatever relative of King James, huh? I, I'm not disputing the legitimacy. Why? 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 So what? But why do that? The man has already proven to be a shrewd businessman. And that's what he is. He's a businessman. Nothing more. He's a businessman. Hey there, you six foot four buckthorn that you are. I'd say this to your face, and you can go ahead and shoot me. Go ahead, I don't care. You're a charlatan. You're a charlatan, man. 
Why do you, why, you know, in passing. But, okay, it's like, and uh, yeah, there's some evidence that I may be related to King James. Good for you. Good for you. That's good. Good for you. But why say that to you? Why bring that up? I'll tell you why. To ingratiate onto you. See, my family helped build this country. So, hey, I'm one of you. I really care about you because my family built this country. And there are those of you who know that he said that. Yeah. I have a direct tie now onto the authorized version because I have a scant uh, relation onto the King James himself. So therefore, I have a little bit more involved in this than you do. Isaiah 65, verses 1 on to 7. I, sought, I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold me. Behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. A people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face, that sacrificeth in gardens, <laughs> and burneth incense upon altars of brick. Hmm. Altars of brick. Don't, you know, doing this for years and years and years and years. Thousands of people. <laughs> I helped start the King James Bible even movement. You created a denomination, huh? Your fathers were part of the founding fathers, and now you have a direct tie, provable, onto the namesake of the authorized version. Yes, you should trust them, huh? which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things is in their vessels which say stand by thyself come not near to me for I am holier than thou these are smoke in my nose a fire that burneth all the day You know, when I tell you I'm a sinner who is chief, that's because that's the truth. I am the least of all men. The brethren who I have fellowship with. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even worthy to have fellowship with half of these people that I do. I'm not. They're all better than me. But when you got someone who is emulated by people, who is puffed up to believe in them own self as this pioneering thing, behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense with an S, even recompense into your bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers Together sat the Lord, which have burned incense upon the mountains, and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. Luke 12. And see, another thing to this individual will use people as pawns. That little jerk from Indiana, he used as a pawn. 
to come out with something that he knew that he himself couldn't do because um, he would be attacked for it. And use people as fall guys. And his disciples are, you know, go out and attack other people. Yeah. Luke 12, 15 on the 21. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of these things which he possesseth. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, what shall I do, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Thou hast much goods laid up for many years and years and years. Ah. <laughs> And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thy knees, eat, drink, and be merry. Yeah. Been there, done that. <laughs> Been there, done that. Look at my accomplishments. The accomplishments of a saint. We have those. But they are not to be worn as merit badges. <laughs> Prove me wrong! Huh? Huh? How many times you got to boast about how you created a denomination, huh? Huh? How many times you got to boast about your father's founded, helped founded this, huh? And now this, dude. And all the while, you keep growing and growing and getting bigger. Pretty popular. Yeah? Pretty popular. <clears throat> and I will say to my soul, soul thou hast much goods, lay up for many years, laid up for many years, take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. Look, you want to follow these types of people? You want to, you want to do what you go right ahead? You are free to do so. You are free to do so. All things are lawful for you. You know, you've been instructed. Hey, I, I, hey, uh, I got help for how to defend the uh, redemption of the purchased possession. Yes, I did. Okay, yes, I did. But see, what will this man do? If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. So. <laughs> look. You want the you want to follow these things. You want to be a part of the. Uh, if you're a saint, don't you know you're a part of the beloved? Isn't that enough for you? Or you gotta be part of a denomination. You gotta be part of a clique. Or you gotta exalt about how pious and righteous you are by um, opening your legs to everybody. See, this is Christianity. I don't blame any of you lost people for wanting nothing to do with Christianity, especially when you have the examples that we are being given today. And there's that the one group that's like this. Ugh. And then the ultra-righteous and holy and pious who are better than everybody else. And you know what they would argue? It's like, well, we're saved. We are. Let's see. They, they, they do this. They do this. They do that. They don't condescend to speak to men of low degree. 
God forbid you have a mind of your own and think and question. Oh, and, and, and to the one dude's defense, um, it's his disciples that do it. Uh, I'm so busy, you know, with this. <laughs> uh, anyway, Second Peter. And you know what? If this offends you, I'm not sorry. You know, he must increase and we must decrease. Again, why is it with these Christians that have been there, done that, in their latter years, wear these things as badges and rest on their lees, it seems? I, I, I don't understand. I understand, but I don't understand. You know what I mean? Second hmm. Peter 2, 17 on the 19. These are wells without water, clouds that are carried with the tempest, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they are lured through the lusts of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escaped from them who live in error. While they promised, while they promised them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For whom a man is overcome of the same is he brought in bondage. Where do you go with this? Where do you go with this? Come on, brothers. Where do you go with this? Romans 6, 16. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness? 1 Timothy, or no, excuse me, Jude 16, one verse. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. Hey, you got the popular vote going for you guys, huh? Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Bravo. 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 1 Timothy 6, verses 4 unto 11. He is proud, knowing nothing but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputing of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness, from such withdraw thyself. Gain is godliness. Not just do re mi, oh, but multitude of subscribers and uh, popularity, people naming you. Name me. Name me. We all know who you're talking No, that's what you want. See, it gratifies your flesh. It puffs you up. I ain't giving that to you. I ain't giving you your name. And every one of you who know, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> if I'm going to be hated by uh, Christianity, I'm praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to do a proper job of it. I know I'm not the only one who feels this way or sees this. I know I'm not. Let's just remember, we're this big. You got the one blend of garbage that is very popular and takes everybody always. And then you have the, the elitist click. But they're powerful. And hey, they got their own denomination now. <laughs> they do. They do. They got. And I, I, you know what, dude? For someone making his life as good as he can. I salute you. I do. I, I seriously do. You're a good, shrewd businessman. You know what people want to hear. And you know how to tug a heartstring there. And you're not above falling back and resting on merit to get you through things. 
and you've done quite well for yourself. And see, that's the disassociation there. Okay? We're broke. We're poor. If the Lord doesn't provide, we're done. Period. But see, a couple hundred dollars is infinitesimal to the one. Set it himself. When someone who has the least, in reality, has given the most. And it's sad. It's sad. But godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, then and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some covenant after, they have erred from the faith, pierce themselves through with many sorrows. But thou, O man of God, flee these things, and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness, meekness. Skip over to 17 on verse 19. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded. Being rich in this world is not just money, possessions, popularity, and whatever. High-minded. <laughs> Nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. But they, that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate. Laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life. Oh, I know I'm going to get attacked for this, and that's not, you know, you know I don't want to be named. These guys do. These guys do. Like I said, look. Look. You guys want to follow these people? <laughs> You're free to do so. You're free to do so. The, the one group is just disgusting. The whores. But this other group... You're arrogant, you're pompous, self-righteous charlatan. Which wasn't so, but it is. That's all I got to say about that. This is a very unexpected video. I'm not even sure I'm going to upload it yet. Pray about it for on to the Lord. But uh, have have you forgotten from whence you came? Well, obviously now when you start throwing out genealogies there, right? That's not what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's going to be it for this little video. Thank you for watching this if you do. May the Lord bless the brethren.